What up, y'all? So I got some stuff in my mind that I want to share. Um, yesterday, yesterday, yeah, I was talking to my sister. Um, she told me some good news. Um, we got on the topic of every time I talk to my sister, she always asks me, where your boo thing? She's that, she's that, that relative, that sibling. I love her. But she always asks me, where your boo thing? Um, and we got on the topic of like boundaries. Cause I, I so appreciate her example. Um, when it comes to her setting boundaries before her marriage. Um, but we, we got on the topic of like how, what those boundaries look like and you know, what I will allow a guy to do or where we would hang out and stuff like that when it comes to us, like getting to know one another and stuff. So it came up of like us hanging out together by ourselves in the, in uh, a house, you know, chilling on the couch and stuff like that. And I was like, no, I ain't about that life. <laughs> my, my boundaries are, are pretty, uh, strict and straightforward for specific reasons and she was like you know what that's you you wouldn't do that you wouldn't y'all wouldn't chill together like that you know and i was like no <laughs> and so we we differ we 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 didn't agree on like certain boundaries because she was saying you know when she puts stuff in in motion when she says no it means no and i was like good for you <laughs> good for you um but it's not like that for everybody when you have opened up that sex door when you know your weaknesses when you realize your frailty as a human being you become more aware and more strict like when you really want to do right when you want to honor sex respect your body um when it comes to another human being it's like you're gonna do whatever you have to do to make sure that you uphold that integrity right and so for me there there is no no wiggle room there is no uh, maybe out we can hang together and by ourselves laying up on a couch it it's a it's a no like it is a no and the reason why i'm even talking about this is because like <clears throat> we as a people we underestimate the power of the enemy or the severity of our sin and of our decisions that sex door when it was open for me at such a young age it it destroyed so much the bondage of sexual sin is is like no other if you struck i like to think of it like this picture yourself being out in the ocean like struggling to survive you're you're trying to stay above water the waves is is trying to kill you drowning you taking you under for minutes at a time sometimes and you you're just struggling like i, I just want to breathe I, I, somebody come rescue me please can you imagine that i can't imagine that because i don't like big bodies of water period the thought of it is is horrifying i'll just be dead like that's just how it's gonna be but just imagine that you're struggling, you're striving and free. Picture that feeling of like somebody saved me. It's trying to kill me. Somebody saved me. And I, I, I don't I don't know what else to do with somebody. And then you finally get into the shore. You get in a, a raft thrown out or some relief. Would you flirt with that thing again? Like, would you go out <laughs> into the ocean how you did before? I don't think you would. I look at and that's I think that's just a that's a nice way of explaining the bondage of sexual sin because it's crazy and we don't we don't realize the severity we don't realize the damage that's being done we we treat sex or um sexual sin as like a little kitty cat and you want to go and pet it you know what I'm saying oh I can pet it it's it's cute oh I know it has the ability to bite me but I can still go pet it no it, more like a wild cat in the like a, a wild beast like like i said beasts are not bad they're beautiful animals but when you realize how much that beast the power it has and the fact that it will tear you to shreds you're going to be very 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 careful of how you approach it if you approach it at all because you respect it in its habitat and its surrounding you respect everything about it and so when it comes to sex 
it had me gone for so long. I'm not playing with it. I'm not about to play games with it. To the fact to where everybody in society, okay, is affected by some kind of, of wrong habits, wrong ideas, perspectives about sex because we live in this fallen world. You know what I'm saying? We've all been um we've all been touched in some way from perverted sex. Sex used in a way it wasn't supposed to be used or you know, our interactions with sex has not always been healthy. And so we're all fighting for a, a healthy perspective, a healthy approach, a healthy life or relationship with sex, right? And it's just you just don't play with it. And so, yeah, my boundaries. Oh, that's what I was going to say. And so even to this day, like even sex, you know, okay, we, we've we mastered or we've managed setting boundaries when it comes to people. But even sex with yourself, I'm not talking about just not ending up in somebody's bed. I'm talking about pursuing a holistic view in respect for sex altogether, masturbation, all of that. I've struggled. I've struggled to where daily I have to make sure, because that's how the enemy likes to come in, that I don't fall into sex with myself. I've had a couple of encounters this year that I'm not proud of with myself. So I've had to repent. I've had to turn away. I've had to say, God, why did I come back to this place? Why am I letting my thoughts take me to this place? And so I I don't play around with this thing. And the people who are un, who uh, that I talk to, the young girls, my peers, They'll hear the same things. It's, if you have opened up that sex door before, that means you are very well capable. Your body knows the feeling. It knows what it wants and, 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 the, and what it's created for. Because our bodies are created for sex. Sex is a God-given gift. Our issue is we've misused it and abused it. We've awakened it before it's time. So now we're, we're left with the challenge of, you know, keeping it as a gift. And waiting until it, it can be unwrapped. But um, if you've opened up that door before, it's going to be easy to fall into it. Like, I don't see people who are have been addicted to drugs hanging around crack houses. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not smart. It's not wise. To put yourself in a situation to where you know at any moment, you know... When you, if you lose your mind for a second, then you can fall back into that situation, into sexual sin. So I got, I got boundaries, boo boo. When I talk about boundaries, I mean boundaries. No, <laughs> no, you ain't coming up over here, ah, oh, bro. You ain't sitting up on my couch by ourselves watching a movie for what? For what? It ain't nothing we can do. It ain't nothing that that we can't do around other people. Like, it makes no sense. And so I'm saying all that even to say this and, and maybe help you and give you a perspective or a stance and, and give you some um, strength to your stance. I will stay single, happily single. When I say happily single, I mean content single before I allow some man, some joker to come up in my life and take me out of this peace or out of this relationship with god sexually take me out of pursuing sexual integrity and cause me to fall back into something that i got out of that ocean that i was drowning in literally drowning in the thought of it makes me want to cry because it is not a game it's not a game i would say happily single before i let a joker come up in here and take me out of that, and take me out of that place with God and send me back into bondage like that. Because a marriage is not my goal. A man is not my goal. Those are great things. They're beautiful. Let me tell you. Marital relationships is beautiful, but it's not my goal. My goal is Christ Jesus. Straight up, boo. Christ Jesus. Relationship with him. And you want to know why? Because there's a scripture. I believe it's Revelations 22 and 12. Or 12 and 22. I can't remember. Check me on that. But it says. I'm coming back. Soon. And my reward is with me. The thought. 
of my my groom coming the, the one who saved me i can't even think about it without getting emotional the one who do, who has helped me who gave me a purpose cleaned me up and is still teaching me helping me he coming back and he's coming back soon and he he handed out rewards heavenly rewards i ain't about to miss out on that i want to be ready when my husband comes and so that's why i ain't got time y'all can miss me miss me with the instagram post miss me there's a greater reward there's a greater reward than these you know people living for relationships and all that stuff at the expense of their spiritual integrity and their relationship pursuit of jesus christ miss me i've grown i ain't going back the only way i'll, I'll accept it is if it's in line with christ it's it's if it is full of integrity respect honor true love but I, I ain't got time. I ain't about to compromise. I, I I can't. I can't afford it. It's hard enough. It's hard enough with myself, let alone with somebody else, to pursue sexual integrity. So be encouraged. Boo boo. Be encouraged. A man ain't your goal. Marriage ain't your goal. Jesus Christ is. And if that comes, if a man or marriage comes, let it be because it's lined up with the goal of Jesus Christ. It's not an either or. It's Jesus with it. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Stay encouraged. Peace.